Hi, my name is Judith Love Cohen, and I work together with an Egyptologist to prepare a book called You Can Be a Woman Egyptologist. Our books are divided into three parts. The first part, we tell the story of this Egyptologist who works part of the time teaching at Johns Hopkins University, and another part of the time she spends going out into the field in Egypt, either to an architectural dig or to study in a museum. So she does both field work and teach. Now, the second part of the book, we talk about what Egyptology is. It is a branch of archaeology, and we'll talk about what Egyptologists need to study. And then third, we'll talk about what the qualities are to be an Egyptologist and some questions you can ask yourself so that you can decide whether or not you would like to be one. Now, we're going to focus today on the second part, what Egyptologists study and how they do their work. First of all, I said Egyptology is a branch of archaeology. Now, archaeologists study artifacts as a way to understand ancient cultures. However, Egyptologists are also philologists. Those are people who study ancient writings. You've all heard of hieroglyphics that were found on the walls in ancient Egypt tombs. Well, they have to be deciphered and understood by Egyptologists. Now, our Egyptologist would start out, if she wanted to study something, by asking a question that she would like to know the answer to. Like, one question might be, what did Egypt what did Egyptians know about medicine and disease in the old days? Second, she needs to figure out, where do you go to look for an answer? I mean, how would you ever find this out? Well, for the sample question we talked about, she can study the modern medical examination of mummies and see what they've learned. And she can study the ancient writings of the Egyptian doctors to see what they said. Then third, our Egyptologists would actually examine these modern and ancient things we spoke of. And you might be surprised to find out that ancient doctors performed simple, effective surgeries, and the medications that they used sometimes actually worked. King Tut was examined, and based on the bones and teeth, he was found to be 18 years old when he died. This is a chart showing the hieroglyphics and it turns out that the hieroglyphics stand for letters. Each picture stands for a particular letter. So this little picture of an eagle actually is the letter A. And so you could actually write sentences in Egyptian hieroglyphics. Our book, You Can Be a Woman Egyptologist, will tell you more about what Egyptologists do and why you might like to be one and you can check us out at www.cascadepass.com.